has been a great player during March Madness, great coach during March Madness. He's got his son playing with him, which will be a – as the conference tournament starts, uh, this guy will be making a name for himself. If I'm reading this correctly, Dad, Antoine Davis is averaging 26 points a game. Did you know that, Dad? 26 no, points a game? No, I didn't. I, I ain't, I'm not going to brag on him yet. I'm going to brag on Mike. Uh, well, Mike, yeah, but uh, I asked Mike. Uh, Mike? Who's Mike? Uh, Antoine is getting 26 said, a game. Mike, I said, Mike, I said, Mike, does he play hard? No, does he play hard as you? And I can't remember what Mike said, but I don't think he. I don't think he. I don't think he can play hard as Mike. Good morning, Mike. How you doing? I'm doing great, Coach. How you guys doing? He's bragging yeah. on you, Mike. I'm bragging on your son. Forget <laughs> you. Did he, did, did he play hard? He didn't play hard as you did, did he? He worked he? hard. At that. I have a work. He. Uh, but defensively, I think I played a lot harder than him. <laughs> yeah, but he's got to save his energy to score. Uh, he couldn't <laughs> score like that. Dude, we, we blew out Kentucky to win the championship 48-46. <laughs> <laughs> uh, tell me about this kid, Mike, and I, I know you're proud of him, but uh, talk a little bit about him. I am proud of him, but I'm more proud of the way he's worked uh, for the last five years. We've really spent a lot of time in the gym, and uh, he, he shot 60,000 shots one time in 12 days. And the most shots he ever shot in one day was 10,000. So he's putting a lot of work, uh, working on his skills. Uh, he wasn't much of a basketball player until he started putting all his work in, and it's really paid off for him. Uh, at what age, uh, Mike, did you start him getting in there? Taking, and I, I'm sure when you're saying – he took shots. I mean, he's taking quality game shots. He's not in there. To, you know, a lot of kids go in the gym and shoot shots, uh, but they're not game speed quality. When did you start taking him in there uh, and working with him doing those kind of things? Well, what we do is kind of different from most people shooting. You know, I've read a lot of books about development and, 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 and training and, and the true meaning of purpose and, uh, what we did was we tried to master the end of his shot. So we spent a lot of time on the end of it, the very end, to where he couldn't do it wrong and he had the same shot every single time. So we started off just basically shooting thousands of shots right in the paint, not not, not even outside the paint. And we never really focused on three-point shots. I just wanted his technique to be perfect. And um spent a lot of time doing that. He broke his foot one time, and we ended up, you know, really focusing on his shooting so much and that, uh, every shot he shoots, no matter what, I, I'm not sure if you've seen him play yet, but uh, no matter where he shoots the ball from, it, it's, it's always the same. If he's off balance, it's, it's the, the top of his shot, the end of his shot is always the same. So we started really focusing and doing it around the ninth, or tenth grade. Wow, that's... was was he going was he going to Houston if you hadn't changed jobs? Well, he was he signed with Houston, but he was going to come play for me uh, at Texas Southern, and once he got out of his Houston. Uh, commitment. A lot of uh, SEC schools and, and and Big Ten schools started recruiting because he could really shoot the basketball, but he could yeah. really dribble and handle the ball as well. But he wanted to play for me uh, because of all the work that, that he's put in. How is that coaching your son? Are you enjoying that? Sometimes I think you, I think you got the perfect situation. Either your son needs to be the absolute best player on the team or the worst. Those ones that are in the middle, it's it's hard because everybody's. <laughs> Uh, you know, complaining, but how is it uh, getting to coach your son on a daily basis? It's great coaching because I know the work he's put in. Uh, we end up signing 10 players uh, after August the 24th, and that's and that's very difficult. Uh, they had predicted that we would win one game, <clears throat> but I wish sometime that he was playing with, you know, other guys. I think the better players around him, uh, the better he would be because he wouldn't have to do so much. Uh, he's only weighing like 150 pounds. And um, I know I know the schedule the the the, the ball will say one seventy, but he wished he weighed one seventy, like one fifty. And uh, he's gained some weight since he's been here. But it's great coaching because I know uh, the effort he gives every single day uh, on, on the court. Yeah, uh, Mike, you t- you take a you take a team that I think won one conference game last year, and I thought I thought it took some guts to go up there. But uh, you turned that thing around where you won, I don't know, 11 or 12 games. Talk a little, about, a little bit about the league and the basketball up there in Detroit. Well, we, I, I knew he was coming with me, so no one yeah. knew that he could play, to be honest with you, other than 
the people in Houston and and and, and my you know close friends. Uh, yeah. But we knew that he he, he could average about twenty three, twenty four points a game, and uh, we was hoping that we could you know, win at least ten games, twelve games, and uh, there was about four or five games that we should have won down the end of it, but they end up. Uh, in our conference, just putting two people on him. You know, I've never seen a a conference where you just guard one guy with with two people, and so uh-huh. that's really that's really hurt us as a team because we we don't have the other guys on our team that really step up that could make plays. You know, they're good, but they're not at that level to where you know they they can get you know fifteen to twenty points on certain nights. But it's been it's been great for me because it really made me work hard this year, watch a lot of film and try to come up with all kinds of strategies because I've been watching basketball a long time and I never seen guys face guard players all over the court uh, the way they yeah. do my son. So it's been great. We're going to bring some really good guys in next year that, that, that can help and it should be a good program. Now right. say what you said again. I don't think the listeners understood that. That job stayed open forever. You signed – now August is when school started. <laughs> And uh, they, they, I don't know how you've even won a game. How many players, you, uh, who's left to sign Mike in August? Uh, well, did, did, you, did I hear was, that correctly? Yeah, it was very, I mean, our school started August the 27th. And we were still doing official visits uh, on the 25th. Uh, uh, so it's very difficult, you know, to sign 10 kids anytime, but especially a couple of days before school started. We ended up signing two players. After school just started, so we didn't have any any summer practice time. I give you an example: we beat the team that won our conference, uh, and my, my 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 son had forty three points, and they only had forty five during that part of the game. So he they had outscored him two points, and but but once everybody figured out how he could really score the ball, uh, they started putting two players on him. They started uh, trapping every ball screen that he ran, and uh, they started running and jumping him to get the ball out of his hands, and it's really forced out other players that, like I said, they're not bad players, but they're not scorers, and, you know, they, it was available late, and so it's very difficult for them to score a lot of points, and that's really cost us probably about, you know, five or six games uh, just because of the way that they defended him. We started the conference off five and one, and and they started doubling and tripling, and I, some, sometimes, it's like they have two guys on him. And I mean two guys. I don't mean one guy standing around. Two guys are actually guarding him at one time. Wow. Uh, where were you recruited for this coming year? I mean, I mean you may have already signed some kids. What's your recruiting base now for the for the future? Well, I want to bring in three or four fifth-year guys, some older players that's been yeah. uh, in college basketball with, with a lot of experience. I just feel like <clears throat> with, 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 with his scoring ability – the way he scored the basketball, it's very difficult for like one guy to really guard him because he's worked so hard uh, offensively. We we do, uh, I can share this with you. We do a hundred possessions before we got here to uh, Detroit. Where he'll be he'll be he'll be on offense one hundred straight times, and we have guys guarding. We just go one on one every time for hundred straight possessions, and you do that six times a week. That's like six hundred possessions in one on one. And it's like three thousand for the month, and so it, it, it's like a year's worth of work that he gets in one month, and that's why our offensive he he he's so good. Uh, we're talking with Mike Davis. Mike, talk a little bit about the Horizon League, Northern Kentucky, I think, uh, and Wright State tied at thirteen and five. Northern Kentucky, a lot of uh, people here are familiar with John Brandon, who was here with uh, Avery Johnson. Maybe just talk about uh, his team and what he's done there. He's a good coach. He has a good team. Um, the guys really play hard. They work hard. Uh, they've beaten us twice. You know, like I said, the uh, defense, they, they've done some things to us. Uh, and they have one really good player on their team. Uh, McDonald is like a six, seven forward. Uh, he just probably got the best team in our league. Well, we're both Rice State and, and Northern Kentucky are the best teams in our league by far, I think. Yep, that. Well, we're getting ready for the SEC tournament. Uh, you you know me well enough to know that I pretty I pretty much mashed you guys the week <laughs> the week before the SEC tournament. We didn't do too bad either. <laughs> well, so what well, I can hear you. I said we're getting ready for the SEC tournament. Okay. And okay. I, I said I mashed you guys most of the time the week before and changed stuff up and 
did stuff dif- differently, but we had good tournament play. Oh, we had great tournament play. We always competed well in the tournament. Uh, I wish I had a team that played as hard as we played at times. Yeah. Um, but, you know, like I said, again, this, kids are different these days. They they, they sure. want to play when they feel like playing. They, they don't. <laughs> it, it, it's all about how they feel. And so, yeah. uh, but I miss those days of coming in and competing for those those, those tournaments. Well, you competed. I guarantee you that. You sure did. We uh Barry, you have anything else? Well, Mike, do you ever talk to any of the guys you played with uh, over here? I know you guys scheduled. You're busy, so busy right now. Do you ever keep up with any of the guys that uh, you played with here at Bama? I do. Buck and I, we communicate <clears throat> uh, some. His son, uh, Jamar, come up, work out with uh, Antoine sometimes. And Enos come up. Uh, I've talked to Enos a lot, Ken Johnson, uh, guys like that. So those are the guys I really kind of uh, stay in contact with. Mike, good luck. Where's y'all's tournament being held? Well, we're going to play our first game on the road at Northern Kentucky. It's okay. like uh, the, the top four team has home games, and uh, the other four had to go play them at their site. And if we win to Wednesday, or whoever wins, they're going to bring it back to Detroit and play at the Little Caesars uh, for the semis and the championship. All right. So Northern Thanks, Kentucky Mike. on Wednesday, is that correct? Yes, on Wednesday. All right. On Wednesday. Thank Great you for luck being on. I appreciate it. Good luck.